Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you the five different categories of the best-selling crochet that you can make for spring and summer 2020. The best time to get started on spring and summer is during January and February. If you're watching my video during March or April, it's okay, but you better get to work. One thing that I often tell myself is if I had more inventory, I would have made more money. So the more time you give yourself to make things, the better. Category number one is baby stuff. Spring and summer is baby season. This is when you're gonna see most of your baby showers and you're gonna see beautiful pregnant women all over the place. So when it comes to events during this time of year, you're gonna get a lot of people looking for a unique baby gift to give at a baby shower, or you're going to be getting lots of grandparents, aunts, uncles, friends, who see that adorable little baby thing on your table and just have to have it. So what are some things that you can make? Popular baby things you can make, number one are baby beanies. Even though it's warm outside, people still go goo goo gaga over baby beanies. But I'm not talking boring beanies that are just different colors. I'm talking about novelty beanies, the animal beanies, the themed beanies. That's gonna be the type of beanie that's gonna attract the most attention. You could make baby blankets, but light baby blankets, thin baby blankets. Even though it's warm outside, babies still wanna be wrapped up. So you wanna make sure that that baby isn't overheating. You wanna use really thin material, really light material, and have the pattern be full of holes so it's airy. You do not wanna use any thick material, heavy material, or scratchy material. You can make baby loveys. Here's some pictures for some reference if you are not sure what a baby lovey is. Baby toys are really popular, such as stuffed animals, anything textured, and rattles. Rattles are great. I've noticed that baby textured books have started to become a thing, where each page is a different material, a different feel, a different pattern, different color. So these are some great ideas for baby things. Well, this is all great to know, but you might wanna narrow down what you make by what's gonna be popular. So what are the popular baby themes for 2020? Don't worry, I got you covered. I looked into the popular baby themes for 2020 and what I found was very interesting. It's a lot of colors, believe it or not. The number one baby theme for 2020 is neutral boho. So neutral boho is a lot of succulents, plants, but think natural colors. I got a lot of beiges, I got a lot of creams, a lot of very neutral colors. So that's number one. Number two is jungle theme. So we're looking at monkeys, think African animals like elephants, giraffes, lions, but they're not gonna be bright colors. Everything is, is in a very soft, muted color, very pastelish almost. Think rustic in a way, those color tones. So number two is jungle. The third baby theme I thought was very interesting, it's gold accents with dark colors. So again, a color theme but lots of gold accents. So if you wanna make things that are a dark color with gold accents on them or just gold things, gold colored things, that would be a hit. The fourth baby theme is rainbows, but again, not bright colors. Everything was very soft. Number five was oversized plants and leaves. I saw a lot of just giant leaves on pillowcases or wall decals. So if you're thinking about doing something in this area with large florals, large plants, I would probably focus on just doing a leaf on something and that's perfect. The last baby theme that I found was monograms. And these are again popular, they seem to be consistently popular and that's great. A monogram is just the first letter of the baby's name that's usually surrounded in some kind of decal. So when you're doing your work, if you want to focus on monograms, you could do a lot of personalizations, do an example and be like, I can make your baby theme, your baby's name on X, Y, and Z. When doing my research, I noticed that Many people were combining baby themes. It was very common for me to find neutral boho mixed with large plants mixed with monograms. And it was also very common for me to see jungle animals mixed with large plants mixed with gold accents. 
such as there were gold elephants or gold lions, which I thought was very pretty. One thing that I picked up on really quickly was the color palettes that are being used. They're all very soft and neutral across the board. So we're talking about the gray scales, the brown scales. And when I talk about the brown scales, I mean the taupes, the beiges, the creams. You're really not going to see any blacks. You're not going to see any bright whites or chocolate browns. They're all going to be some range on the color scale. When we talk about the pinks and the colors of the rainbow, because number four on the baby theme was rainbow, we were looking at more of the farmhouse rustic colors, nothing bright. There was absolutely zero bright being shown in baby themes. So keep that in mind when you're buying your materials, what colors are going to be best to pick. I did find the popular colors. There's a popular color palette for 2020. I'm gonna have that included. And if you use those colors, If you use these colors in the color palette for 2020, you're really going to be hitting the connection with the customers and what they want to buy. All right, category number one was a big category, but for good reason. So let's move on to category number two. Category number two is bags and purses. Bags and purses are also a pretty big category because of their usefulness factor. Some bags and purses in this category include your market bag. If you're at a farmer's market, you're going to want to make market bags because people at farmer's markets are primarily there for produce. And having a market bag there is going to be very helpful and useful for those people to carry their produce around in. Uh, number two is going to be big tote bags. It's the spring and summer, so families are going to go on mini outings. They're going to go to the park. They're going to go to the beach. They're going to just be out and about. And So having a giant tote bag would also be really good. Uh, the third option is little coin purses that they can put in their bags or in their purses that are just super cute. They're real tiny. They're really popular. Um, little girl purses are adorable and grandparents eat them up for their granddaughters and parents love them because their kids have something to put their little trinkets up in that they want to carry around everywhere. And you can make some really cute little girl purses also. I've seen some great ideas on Pinterest. You should really check it out. The last thing to make in the bags and purse category is a water bottle carrier. It seems simplistic enough, but if you put a water bottle inside the water bottle carrier, and you have those advertised together, they're gonna sell really well because during the warm weather months of spring and summer, people are going to be thirsty. They're gonna see this water bottle carrier and think, oh my gosh, there's some water and I don't have to carry it around this event. I can just throw it over my shoulder. Brilliant! So you buy a package of water bottles, you make these water bottle holders, put them together, sell them as a unit, and you're gonna do pretty well on that. Category number three seems to be a really big hit for me, and that's kid toys and stuffed animals. Uh, you have to be careful with your time in these because stuffed animals attract a ton of attention, but the amount of time it takes to make them to the amount of money that you can sell them for doesn't always make it worth it. So just be very cautious in that regard, but they are huge attractors to your booth. So example, are anything popular at that time. This time, Olaf is going to be huge because Frozen 2 just came out. Uh, Minecraft is still very popular. Star Wars is always and ever going to be popular, so if you can make anything Star Wars, you're going to create attention from the entire age range spectrum. If you need ideas on what is popular, all you have to do is go to a store like a Walmart or a Target, go to the kids' toy aisle, and see what theme seems to be emanating from the aisle, what is popular, and then try to see if there is a crochet pattern attached to that. So those are going to create your hook, what people are really going to want, what kids are going to be like, oh my gosh, mom, dad, look, see this? This is going to be great. But if you don't want to do themed items, that's perfectly fine too. There are also regular stuffed animals that do extremely well. People just love stuffed animals, but I would highly recommend that if you're going to make regular stuffed animals, that you make what is popular this year. So the popular animals for this year, 2020, are number one, unicorns. Yes, unicorns have been popular for a couple years now, but they are still ranked number one on the popular stuffed animals list. Number two is narwhals. So that whale with the big horn sticking out of its forehead, 
very popular. Number three are owls. You're going to want to make some owls. Number four would be the French Bulldog, which I thought was interesting. The Corgi is number five, so two dogs right there. Four and five are the French Bulldog and the Corgi. Number six is llamas and alpacas. They were popular last year. It's carrying over to this year, no surprise. Number seven are foxes. Number eight are sloths. Sloths that were popular also last year, so no surprise, they're super cute. And last but not least, cats. Cats are always popular to make. I would highly recommend that if you make these animals, follow the color palette for 2020. That is going to be super popular. That way, again, you're mixing two popular items together, which is going to just create more success for you when it comes to people's interest. Category number four are things for around your home. Some people don't want the baby stuff. They don't want the bags, the toys. They're simply there at the market looking for something to have around the house that makes their home feel more themed. So these things would include your washcloths, your pot holders, your scrubbies, your face scrubs, your pan handle holders, simple things like these. If you need help on ideas on how to make them, again, check out my Pinterest board. I will also have tutorials on how to make all of these items because they are very quick to make and people really love them. Category number five might actually be the most important category. I call it the smalls. At every event that you do, you're going to get what's called the looky-loos, which are just people that are at the event not necessarily to buy anything. They just want to look around and check out what's there. The smalls are going to be a big deal for these people because maybe they really like what you have, but they didn't have any intention of buying anything. So just having the ability to buy something small is going to be very satisfying to them. A lot of time there's children that want to get something from the market because it's a special event, it's a special occasion for them and they just really want to get something even if it's really small. So having the ability to have some small things on your table that a parent can be like, okay, I didn't have any intentions of buying anything, but that's really cheap, it looks like it's good quality, and it's a handmade item, I suppose we can get that. That's great. You just made a sale on something that took you practically no time at all to make. Your cost on materials is super cheap. You sold an item, made some money, and everybody is super happy. Some ideas of smalls that you can make would include keychains. Small keychains are great. Fake plants such as cacti or succulents. Those are really popular right now. The theme is really huge. You can make those. Uh, popsicle holders. Popsicle holders are super fun and with it being hot weather outside, kids are eating a lot of popsicles. So just having a little holder to eat their popsicle with is super cute. I got some great ideas on my Pinterest board you should check out. Um, scrunchies. I'm seeing scrunchies everywhere. Crocheted scrunchies. I have little flower clips. Little tiny flowers on clips that little girls can put in their hair are super cute, make them really fast. Um, hacky sacks are a lot of fun and tiny stuffed animals. Like I'll make a, a circle, I'll make a ball of, of my leftover scrap material and I'll put two buttons on there and maybe a smile or something. And it's just a simple ball of scrap material and kids love them. They're great. So just some ideas right there. Check out Pinterest again for more ideas. I have a love-hate relationship with Pinterest because I love what's on there, but then I have pinned over a thousand different pins and now I'm like, when will I ever get to this or that? So just narrowing down the field of what you wanna make will be great, but smalls can be a really big deal for your sales and your booth. Well, there you go. There are the five categories of the top selling crochet things that you can make for the spring and summer 2020. If you need any ideas or you need some visual examples, check out my Pinterest boards. I put the link in the notes below. I created boards specifically for this video so that if you needed visual aids, you can go there and reference all that I found with my research. I also included in the notes section all the sources and the sites, the links to everything that I found so that way you can see what I found and what I saw. Um, any lists that I listed out in this video, I also included in the notes section below so that you don't have to go search for it in the video. 
Thank you so much for spending time with me. I really hope my video helps. If you have any questions, make sure you put them in the comment section below so that I can get back to you. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give me a like so that way I can get your feedback. And if you haven't done so already, and you would like to subscribe to my channel by hitting the big red subscribe button below. That way I can make sure that you get all of the videos that I have coming. My channel is based on how to videos, how to sell crochet, how to manipulate patterns to make it more personalized to you and what materials to use with which projects. I appreciate you spending time with me. Thank you so much. My name is Tiffany Hansen. I'll see you next time. Bye.